Hello, I'm Seema from Hello Basics. I welcome you all for the next video on wave optics. In this video, we'll discuss Huygens principle and construction of wave front on the basis of Huygens principle. According to Huygens, light waves are similar to mechanical waves such as water waves or sound waves. Huygen has considered that light wave propagates due to the vibrations of particles of ether medium. He has considered that it propagates in the form of propagation of wavefront. And to determine the shape of wavefront at any instant t, Huygen put forward Huygens principle. What is this Huygens principle? How it is used for constructing new wavefront that we have to see. So, statement for Huygens principle is given here and here you can see that few words I have highlighted and these words are said to be keywords for keeping this Huygens principle in mind. First of all, we'll see principle and then we'll discuss this principle. According to Huygens principle, each point on wavefront acts as a secondary source of light. What is secondary source of light? That I'll tell you. First of all, let me state this principle and then we'll discuss on that. Each point on wavefront acts as secondary source of light, emitting secondary light waves in all directions. Wavefronts associated with these secondary light waves are called wavelets, which travel with speed of light in the medium. The new wavefront can be obtained by taking the envelope of the secondary wavelets traveling in the forward direction only. The wavelet traveling in the backward direction are ineffective. So, what this hygen pin says? that each and every point on the wavefront acts as a second resource. We have seen in earlier video what are primary sources and second resources. I am giving here link of that video. If you want, you can watch that video to get clear idea about the secondary source of light and primary source of light. As it is a secondary source of light. It is not producing its own light, but it is reflecting the light from the source of light. Now, this secondary source of light is again emitting secondary light waves. These waves are in again in all possible direction. And the wavefronts associated with these secondary light waves are called wavelets. So, what are wavelets? Wavelets are nothing but the wavefronts associated with secondary light waves. Primary light waves give us wavefronts, whereas secondary light waves give us wavelets. Is it clear? Now, these wavelets travel with the speed of light in the medium. So, its speed of the wavefront and wavelets is same. Now we want to construct new wavefront from this. So how to get the new wavefront? The new wavefront can be obtained by taking the envelope of the secondary wavelets. Or in other way, I say that tangent to all these secondary wavelets traveling in the forward direction only. So here we are considering these wavelets which are traveling in forward direction only that envelope or that tangential surface is said to be new wavefront and the wavelets traveling in the backward direction are ineffective. We are not considering these wavelets traveling in the backward direction. We will more understand this Huygens principle with the help of diagram. I will start with a source of light and here 
first of all i am going to consider spherical wave front and then i'll go for plane wave front so from this source of light at a near distance i'll get a spherical wave front and this spherical wave front is given in green color and these red color are the rays of light or wave normals to this wave front now according to hygiene each and every point on this wave front acts as a secondary source of light so here we are having these dots yellow color dots these are nothing but the secondary sources of light these secondary sources of light will emit light in all direction will associate with the secondary wave fronts which are known as wavelets will draw wavelets and these wavelets here they are in the circular shape because we are drawing on page but actually they are spheres these wavelets are wave fronts for the secondary sources or secondary waves according to hygen new wave front will be the envelope or tangent to these wavelets envelope of these wavelets all these wavelets or tangent drawn to all these wavelets will give me a new wave front in forward direction only backward direction is ineffective so here now this is giving me tangential surface or envelope for the wavelets and this blue thick line is representing new spherical wave front so in this way we can construct new wave front from the earlier wave front after certain time t and this wave front is having the same shape as that of the original wave front so from spherical wave front we can construct spherical wave front here in this diagram you can observe this dotted line also this dotted line is wave front in the backward direction which is ineffective or these wavelets in backward direction they are ineffective so we won't get any wave front in the backward direction it is possible only in forward direction now as we have seen this for the spherical wave front as i'm going for a large distance the same wave front can be converted into plane wave front here i have a plane original wave front which is plane wave front again i say each and every point on this acts as a secondary source giving secondary waves in all direction wave fronts associated with the secondary waves are wavelets which are in pink color and envelope of these wavelets will give me new wave front which is represented by thick blue line and this wave front is again in forward direction it is a plane wave front my original wave front was also plane wave front so from plane wave front we can construct new wave front which is also plane here again in the backward direction dotted line is shown that is not possible now let us discuss hygens construction of new wave front and that we want to apply for spherical wave front and plane wave front and as per the exam point of view this part is very very important first of all we'll go for spherical wave front initially we'll consider a source of light and a wave front at a nearby distance that is a spherical wave front now i'm considering this wave front 
is the wave front at time t is equal to 0. According to Huygens, each and every point on this wave front acts as a secondary source and for reference, I am taking few points on this. Let A, B and C are the secondary sources on the wave front. These secondary sources are giving secondary waves in all direction and the secondary waves will travel distance c t dash after time t dash here i am at t is equal to 0 after time t dash the wave from here will travel distance c t dash from here it will travel distance c t dash from here also travel distance c t dash in all direction right now here we'll draw wavelets for these a b c and these wavelets now we are going to draw in the form of hemisphere of radius c t dash because after t dash time it will travel only distance c t dash so as it will travel distance c t dash i say that here with the radius c t dash i have here these hemispheres and these hemispheres are nothing but wavelets in forward direction i am drawing hemisphere not the complete sphere because backward direction is ineffective so there is no question of taking it in the backward direction so we are choosing only forward direction and now after time t dash it will travel distance c t dash everywhere we say that it is c t dash for all these secondary sources next i want to draw a tangential surface for this or envelope of all these wavelets this tangential surface for this at t is equal to t dash will give me new spherical wave front at time t dash this pink color thick line shows the new wave front which is in spherical shape so we call it as spherical wave front after time t dash so which points we are involved in this see here hygiene's principles all points we have taken in consideration <coughs> that each and every point on this acts as a secondary source then secondary waves travel distance c t dash and draw hemispheres that is wavelets these wavelets are in forward direction only and the envelope of these wavelets is the new wave front so in this way we can construct new wave front now all these same steps will be applicable for plane wave front only the difference is that for spherical wave front here we have shown source because this distance is nearby distance whereas in the diagram of plane wave front will not show source of light directly will start with plane wave front so here i have a plane wave front at time t is equal to zero now on this also each and every point acts as a secondary source as a reference we'll take three points a b c as a secondary sources of light giving secondary waves in all direction and these secondary waves will travel distance c t dash after time t dash next we have to draw hemispheres with the center as a center a b and c 
Now these hemispheres are of radius C T dash. These hemispheres are nothing but the wavelets for the secondary sources. These are in forward direction only. We are not taking them in backward direction, only in forward direction. And the new wavefront will be the tangential surface to this or the envelope of this. And for that, I have taken points A dash, B dash, C dash as the point on this hemisphere where I will draw the tangential surface to this and this tangential surface is the new plane wavefront which is in thick pink line and this is the plane wavefront at t is equal to t dash. So whenever you have to write Huygens construction for spherical wavefront and plane wavefront all these points you have to include in that. Earlier also I told you don't forget to write forward direction. It will always carry marks. Otherwise, you will you'll write each and everything. But due to this small point, you will lose your marks. So, don't do that. With the help of these points, very easily you can write Huygens construction. If you prepare for spherical wavefront, you can very easily write even for plane wavefront or vice versa. No need to prepare it for both types of wavefront only. You know how to draw the diagram that is sufficient. All these points are same for both spherical wavefronts construction as well as for plane wavefronts construction. If we know the earlier wavefront, from that we can construct new wavefront at latter instant with the help of Huygens principle. Here I am giving you questions on today's topic which will help you for preparing descriptive type of questions for exam. Thank you for watching. See you soon in next video.